hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Amelia and here we're all about beauty fragrances and obviously good deals and fragrances that I would recommend you to buy or of course if you just want to have an opinion a review about how these fragrances might smell like before purchasing I would recommend you to just stay tuned and watch with me um, of course a few fragrances that I have prepared for you these are newest fragrances added to my collection and uh, I would like to also have a first impression because so far I kept them in their boxes and didn't open them purely because I want to have an honest first impression about these fragrances I've heard a lot about them I read a lot about them and therefore Obviously, I had formed an opinion. Now, let's just smell them and see if they actually reach to my expectation and standards. And if you are new to my channel, hello. Welcome to the fragrance loving family. And we're all about fragrances and obviously how we smell good, um, how you can find better deals when it comes to fragrances, which fragrances to buy, which ones not to. If this is something that might be of your interest, stay tuned on my channel as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm curious um, if you can also put me a few comments in regards to the fragrances that you might want to test. Perhaps you can also recommend me some because obviously I'm keen to, to find more fragrances as well. Now, without further ado, let's just jump into it. And I'm going to start with actually the cheapest fragrance from my recent purchase. And it's another fragrance from Zara. Um, it's called Rose Gourmand. It's Eau de Parfum, uh, so EDP, if you can see it like this. And I still have here the price tag. It's $19.95 for a huge quantity. It's 18 ml or 2.71 fluid ounce. Now, I was kind of a bit surprised because on the Fragrantica's website, it mentions one note on the box here. We will see different ones. So as per the box, we have here Fresh Rose, elevated by the luscious duo of vanilla and tonka. However, if you go to Fragrantica, it will mention amber instead of tonka. So let's see. Um, this comes from the series of chapter one. Again, a very minimalistic, elegant, simple bottle. I have to say this reminds me a bit of Valentino fragrance but it's more rose in it, I would say, and a bit of vanilla here I can distinguish, which I like. Also, the other thing that really made me purchase this fragrance was that people were ranking this high on Fragrantica. It has 4.10 out of 5, which is much higher than many of the designer or niche fragrances and Zara sells them really cheap so that's what's really surprised me and it has very basic notes so rose vanilla and tonka bean and this reminds people mainly of the delina um delina is a fragrance that's around 200 plus dollars in euros again 200 plus um people are raving about it it's very um, well known in the fragrance community. So if you don't know, Delina comes from Parfum de Mali. Um, obviously, there are also flankers, dupes, and this might be one of it. And it's very simple notes here, but to me, it gives a bit of a mystery. The the rose it's prominent, it's sweet. And it's something that I would say really, really intrigues me. And I would say it's 
maybe like a tube of rose vanille. And what I can say is that it smells expensive. So if, if it's some a fragrance that you would smell on someone, you would not say that it's from Zara. Nonetheless, it was 20 euros. So I'm really keen to test it, see how much it will last, because having a high rating on Fragrantica would give me hopes and high expectations in regards to this fragrance, even though it's a very good fragrance uh, purchase, I would say it's a hidden gem in this case. And obviously I'll come back with further reviews. Now, another fragrance that I heard a lot, a lot about in the fragrance community on YouTube, Instagram, and so on, it's nonetheless, but Bella Blanca by Oscar de la Renta. Um, this has in main accords green, fresh, tuberose, musky, fruity, sweet, and powdery. And besides the notes, what attracted me was the, the bottle, the presentation is absolutely stunning. Um, I hope you can see it on the camera. This is the 50 milliliters. So it has these roses here all over on the bottle. I'll try to close it up. This is considered to be a niche fragrance. It's very green in the opening. Um, it's also very floral. Um, it's a fragrance launched in 2018. So this comes in 30, 50 and 100 milliliters of the parfum. It's something that obviously I will need to review. It has pear, lily of the valley, green leaves, jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, rose, musk, sandalwood and white iris in it. Now, once I will review it, obviously I'm going to post individual videos about each of these fragrances so I can talk more about the longevity projection. Um, for now, this is a fragrance that I just want to test and test and test because it smells so good, so fresh, so green that it's, I would say, mind blowing at first. Then the next one here in my collection that was added, I kind of like ripped the box, the, the packaging here, so not to make so much noise. Um, it's Shakhav Oud by Swiss Arabian. And this comes in a very generous uh, quantity. Um, it's 100 milliliters in the heat bottle. It's very elegant, gold, you know, it's luxurious, I would say. And it's very, very oriental. It's heavy on wood. So you have to be an wood lover. Um, it was advertised for women, but I would say that easily would be a unisex perfume. Even men would be able to wear it. And the main accords are here. Sweet, wood, vanilla, rose, warm, spicy, lactonic, nutty, metallic, powdery, and floral. Um, Swiss Arabian has a lot of, lot of fragrances in their collections. Um, there are also different flankers of um, Shakhav Oud. Um, it's an amber fragrance for women. Um, it has saffron in it as well, agar wood, which is the oud basically, and rose. And the base notes are again agar wood, so we have double portion of oud, praline and vanilla. Now, if you're not familiar with oud, um, basically, it's one of the most expensive and desirable perfume ingredients in the world. Um, it has an intoxicating musky scent that can be quite potent and has been used for centuries in Southeast Asia, Middle East and India. Um, today, obviously, it has uh, expanded to the West as well. So uh, many fragrances have this as their base both for women, both for men. And if you're asking what is oud, oud comes from the wood of the tropical agar or aguilaria tree, a genus that includes around 15 different species, if I remember well. 
and uh, the tree is believed to have originated in the Assam region of India from there spreading to populate Bangladesh and much of Southeast Asia. Um, wood chips of these trees are often burned as incense and it's common for them to be used during different religious ceremonies in the Middle East um, throughout Southeast Asia, including China, Japan and India. Um, and basically this tree needs to be infected with a parasitic mold, uh, which is Philophora parasitica. And basically it reacts by producing a precious, dark and fragrant resin. And this, this is basically the perfume ingredient wood, which is also called uh, agar wood, agalocha, aloes wood, eagle wood or oud. Um, so it's very, very precious. Therefore, it's also pricey. Um, but in the Middle East, the oud fragrances are mainly used on Fridays. Uh, the same goes for the musk note uh, related fragrances. So these are used usually um, in the Middle East when people are going um, to the prayers, to the mosques. However, in the Western world, in, in Europe, you know, it's something that can be used on daily level. Um, just from the first sniffs, I say that this is a potent, a strong fragrance, a long lasting one. So I do hope that that's how it will be also with my skin. And once again, this is Shakhar Food by Sweet Arabian. Um, lately, if you have been watching me, you kind of like pinpointed that I have a lot of fragrances added which are oriental and I have something with these fragrances I have to say. The next fragrance it's something that again I wanted to add to my collection however I couldn't find it here in Cyprus purely because it's no longer produced as I know um, at least this is what I've been told by the different representatives of the shops um, but I managed to find them online in uh, on Notino um, while I was abroad, so I purchased it. And this is going to be another fragrance from Mugler. I love also Mugler's creations, not all of them. There is one exception, and I do hope in future it's something that I'm going to love. But at this point, I cannot stand Angel. I absolutely adore the bottle. It's super, super unique star of shape um, and this beautiful star, crystal star. However, it's heavy on patchouli. And even though I love patchouli, I cannot stand the fragrance. I do love Alien. I do love um, the other fragrances that I have from um, Mugler. Um, but this one, no. I do like Angel Nova, the newest flanker of Angel. I absolutely adore that. But I'm waiting with that um, because it's something that I can purchase at any time. And rather than investing in that, I said I'm going to purchase a fragrance that I had the chance to buy as a one-off. <laughs> and this is Angel News. Um, this is the Eau de Parfum version. There's also an Eau de Toilette version, but I heard that this is more chocolatey. Um, it has the circle card in it as well. It's not valid for Cyprus though. It's certain countries participating in this. Um, and if you're lucky enough to live in one of those countries, you can use them, of course. Now, I absolutely adore this one. Also, Jeremy Fragrancy, if you're watching uh, other YouTubers about fragrances was talking about it and was recommending it. It's a very sexy, um, chocolatey, feminine fragrance. And he recommended it for those that they don't like the original Angel. And yes, I have to thank him because indeed this is spot on. It's a really nice fragrance. It's woody at the same time. It has some patchouli, but it's well blended. It has chocolate. It has some balsamic citrusiness, earthiness, some warmness, as well as spiciness in it. 
So all in one. <laughs> and I absolutely love how it is blended. Um, it's an amber vanilla fragrance, which was launched back in 2016. And the nose behind is it's Quintin Bish. And the top notes would be pink pepper and grapefruit. Middle notes, it's hazelnut, cocoa spread. Base notes would be vetiver and patchouli. And this is considered to be one of those futuristic gourmand uh, scents. And this was the newest edition back then for the house because Angel was originally launched back in 1992. And it's something that, you know, you, you have to love. It's, it's beautiful from starting from the bottle, the details on it. And what I really noticed is that Mugler likes these star shapes. I have other fragrances that they have this star in it. Um, I think it's Mugler Secrets, if I remember well. It's uh, a fragrance that I received from my husband. And that also had all these stars in it. Um, but this is quite unique. And what I really, really like about Mugler fragrances is that they have a huge lasting uh, power, so a long longevity. They do have a very strong projection, an amazing sillage. And if you do want to invest in a good fragrance, I would say go test the Mugler fragrances out there that they exist and see if you find one of yours. Um, so far, I am absolutely love um, Alien, the original one. Also, um, Angel Muse, I love it. And Aura, the original one, I have it. They are absolutely amazing fragrances and nothing to complain about. I really, really wish that in future my nose will open up a bit and accept this one as well because I absolutely love the creations coming from Mugler's house. And the last fragrance here it's lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I was looking for a clean scent, uh, a musky scent, and this is something that I found to be within the category. Um, again, it's a fragrance that is very good on price. Um, the bottle that I purchased, which is 50 milliliters, which comes like this, it's um, 17 euros, which is amazing for a fragrance. And it's a designer, um, sorry, it's a celebrity fragrance. Um, it has woody, musky, lavender, aromatic, powdery, fresh, spicy, citrusy, and patchouli, as well as some um, floral accords. Now, it's considered to be a floral, woody, musk fragrance for women. It was launched back in um, 2005. It was created by Clement Cavari and Laurent Le Garnet, and it has lavender, Martini, bergamot, mandarin orange, and palisander rosewood in the top. And in the middle, so we have patchouli, orchid, and narcissus. And the base notes, it's musk, woodsy notes, cedar, and white amber. And the fragrance itself is the winner of an award, Fifi Award Best National Advertising Campaign TV 2006. And it was the first fragrance by Sarah Jessica Parker in partnership with Coty INC. Um, basically, you know, Sarah, it's always uh, with styles and fashion obsessed, and she wanted to create a signature scent that would be very sexy and yet undeniable classy. Um, and if you read more about this fragrance, you know that lovely, the, the fragrance pays homage to her mother and the art of perfumery. Um, she did not want her fragrance to be overpowering, but instantly recognizable, like the aromatic connection she made for herself from three separate fragrances before she co-created Lovely. Uh, this is a very soft, powdery, discreet, um, intimate fragrance. And it has an elegant, characteristics of it. 
um, it's very charming, it's very modern, and what I have to say is, is that it's a scent that would be perfect for day-to-day -day job, office work, it's a fragrance that is going to get you compliments based upon the reviews that I've seen. Many women are receiving compliments from this fragrance, they're being asked what are you wearing, so I do hope that this will be the case with me as well when I will be using this one. Um, it's a very simple bottle, but the fragrance in it, it smells amazing, very clean, and it's perfect for day-to-day uh, -day use. Um, at least this is the first impression when it comes to this fragrance. And, you know, you, you wouldn't think that it has so many notes based upon um, the way this smells. So it's very well blended, very put together, um, and it's something that I can, at this point, recommend to, to try test out. And if it's something that you consider it would be suitable with your chemistry and you would like to use, of course, go and purchase it because it's a very good deal, I would say. So these would be my fragrances for now. And if this is something that you are attracted to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well leave me a comment below because i'm curious to see what fragrances you're wearing what fragrances you like and what fragrances would you be testing from these ones that i just showed to you and till next time thank you so much for joining my channel and being with me and supporting me to grow and bye for now